So if I've learned anything, it's that running at a dragon with a bow and arrow is a really bad idea. Oh my word, fire. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, did you, like, did I you die? 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 Which means I can Well, greetings and welcome, Roll the Level fans, to Savage Land. This is uh, a uh, a game that is in is it in alpha right now, or is it considered beta? Right I, think it's it's I think it's alpha. I think it's alpha. Early. We have early access, or this we are playing an early access build of the uh, game. It falls into the survivor genre. Um, I've also seen some places that it classifies itself as survival survival horror. And I do have to say that this game is exceptionally unforgiving. Right. Especially nighttime. I would say nighttime qualifies as horror. Yes. So here we are on the island, and um, and you can probably see uh, from our character names that we've gone. We've chosen Oliver Queen and Slade Wilson. Mm -hmm. So we're obviously shipwrecked on this island <laughs> together <laughs> here. Uh, hopefully it won't result in us killing each other Agreed. or any accidents with any Mirakura or anything like that. But Although if we need human skulls for totems... Um, yes, I'll we take, do. I'll take one for the team. <laughs> well, hopefully we can come up against some skeletons. So so basically, like, you 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 have no story with what's going on here. Mm. We we are on an island and um and there's all sorts of crazy stuff here. We've got uh, we've got three meters up in the upper left hand corner uh of the screen here. It took me a while to to actually figure out what was going on with these. Um and, yeah, and understandable. like this this game drops you into the middle with zero tutorial, zero mm. instruction as far as what you're supposed to do. You're pretty much given the um, the task of surviving. Yeah. And and so with these three bars, the the top bar is uh, is something I've, I've never actually seen in a game before. Um, that is a a heat meter. Yep. So so. This this island, you'll you'll have like snowstorms and stuff like that that'll come up out of nowhere, and uh, and so it is a cold and frigid tundra. So, Matt, this is this is kind of like Canada. <laughs> Pretty much, like, this looks like my backyard. I don't know. <laughs> this is yeah, yeah. This uh, looks like Canada or parts of well Wisconsin, really. I was gonna say because you guys have crazy winters there too. So yes. So we've got we've got the uh, the the warmth meter or cold meter or whatever. The red is obviously health, um, and the yellow is is hunger. So mm. we we will actually have to. There's some deer that are around here. We'll I have see to a fire. Yeah. Yes, let's actually let's run we, towards the light. I was, I was gonna say we need we need light because. Um... I don't know about you, but my cold meter's down. Which, for those watching, by the way, uh, we're recording this on, on mine, on Nex's uh, system, so um, you're kind of watching it from my point of view. I apologize in advance. I'm an ADD gamer, so I'm always looking at a million things. So <laughs> if you get motion sickness easy, you might want to take something for that. Right, um, or just <laughs> Right. Okay, so so this game actually has like a whole like index of things that you can build. Yep. Um, unlike unlike games like Terraria or Minecraft, this is not open to like the user interpretation of figuring out what they want to build and how to build. There are actually um, kind of some pre-built structures and schematics. Like we actually around this fire pit here, there's a lean-to that is here. Um, and I just saw you pick up a, a stone hammer there. Oh, did so I we, get one? Oh, man, I wasn't you paying did. attention. Well, this is no. actually probably a good time to talk about inventory because I Absolutely. just pulled it up. Um, so, yeah, so basically you have a um, you know, basic, what is it, eight-slot inventory to start. Yes. But they, they, I do believe now in the starting zone they start you with a little tattered bag that adds some more slots. And you can basically fill up those eight slots with bags. Um, yes. as you're going along, which is a great thing. And then, and so, you, you know, basic inventory management, there's, you know, you can wear different gear that you can craft later on. Shows you your stats when you pull this up. Um, one thing I really like about this game is the vicinity window. Um, I don't know if you've messed with that much, with, with that much I, game. 
I have not actually. It, I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, it's so wonderful because like one of the things uh, when I was playing this game in single player is that I would I would drop stuff on the ground. Um, oh, and yes. then I couldn't now I find know what it. You're talking about. Yeah, then I couldn't find it. And and what's nice though is when you pull up your inventory, if there's anything in your general area, it'll show up there and you can just drag and drop it into your inventory. So it's kind of a nice little feature. Um, you know, you can also again you have the crafting sl or the gear slots there that you can equip different gear. You can have offhand, which comes in handy later with torches. Um, and I I'd actually I think I crafted a compass at one point, which I still haven't figured out how to use, but that's a whole other story. Um, so anyway, that that definitely comes in handy. And right now apparently I'm trying to hack up a piece of rock with a hatchet and probably switch to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it's probably best practice. Yeah. Okay, so now I have a I actually have a pile of stones Perfect. in in my inventory right now. So I've got like 19 of those things. All right. So so you can see there's some 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 basic structures that are are here right now. You can actually build campfires if you uh if you look at the fire like it'll tell you what components it needs to continue fueling it. But if you hit the uh the J button, yeah, it's going right to bring now. up it's going to bring up a journal, and each of those tabs has a, a different function. Like the the one with the hammer uh, shows you the different things that you can build. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all the way up to like a like a blacksmith building and a town hall and stuff like that. And you can see there's different materials that are there. Um, there is kind of a bestiary that uh, has a list of all of the. The uh, the gnarly beasts that you will <laughs> you come up against uh, within the Savage Lands. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a uh, there is a um, a weapons roster. Some of those some of those things are locked. Some of them are unlocked, and they will uh, they'll tell you what you need to be able to craft those uh, those different items. And some of them actually require a forge yep. in order to do that. Yeah, uh, and then you. Ha then the next tab is your armor, pretty much same as the as the weapons, and then you have like basic item things, mm -hmm. and then things that you can cook slash that will provide you with health and other such things. Yep. So uh, interestingly enough, like as I'm looking as I'm looking through here, like I'm seeing I'm seeing a couple of things that I didn't see before. I didn't realize there were goats on the island. Yeah. So, that was a yeah. I ran into one the other day. Actually, it was very random. Oh, what? Hey, speaking of there's, villages, which hey, there's a village up here. This is awesome. This will save us a little time. Oh, P.S. Dragon. Oh, kill oh, that deer. There's a deer. There's a deer. We, we need really food. need to build a bow at some point. We do. Wow, this is um, this is awesome. They actually have the fires going. Uh, my first playthrough, should... they didn't. Okay. This is new. Oh, there's that deer again. You gotta catch this thing. I gotta creep up on it really quietly. I don't know why I'm whispering. Um, it can't hear me. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> um, is I don't know if you notice too. Like as you're running through the brush, there it does actually create noise, which will spook the deer. Like oh. this thing. This thing is just straight up on alert. Like it is, it is <laughs> running away. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go kill that? I'm gonna try to get us some type of shelter set up and back at this village. Um, again, one thing that's really fun about this game that I really like is because they drop you in the middle of nowhere with with no story. It really, the environment kind of tells its own story. It does, yes. Which is a lot of fun. Like even this village, I mean, it's it's kind of a generic village that they've set up, but but it's kind of been it's been abandoned. Half the buildings are wrecked. I mean, you know, there was that dragon that just flew away a second ago. It's kind of cool. A lot of questions are kind of raised and asked. Um, you know, and you don't necessarily get answers, but it allows you to kind of fill in the blanks yourself. And I, again, I don't know what the developers are planning long term that way, but uh, it's kind of neat to see all of those things. So, uh, so this this does actually answer a question that I had yeah, as man. I'm looking at this at this village. Mm. Um, one of the things I had wondered was is the is the world randomly generated or uh, or are there is it is it pretty static and it looks to me this village actually looks to me pretty similar to one that I found in yep. my first uh, I don't want to say that I did an actual playthrough but I've been I have been playing the game a fair bit and mm. just getting to know the interface getting to know the gameplay and mm -hmm. and uh, and stuff like that and so it does look this this is a village that I actually ran into before and set up shop yeah, and I'm so glad that it's here. <laughs> I totally agree with that. I uh, I did the same thing actually in my playthrough before, so this is quite nice to have all of this. 
Um, absolutely. So absolutely. We should actually, um, I mean, I don't want to go too far from here because this is actually pretty good. This is a good starter base camp, absolutely. Yeah, but we're going to need to build a spawn point. And now look, skeleton. Oh. Uh, so yeah, one of the things that's great about this game is like it is very unforgiving, and if you don't set up a spawn point right away, you are going to basically start at that beach again. And yes, and you lose everything that's in your inventory oh, you do. It's when you die. It is, again, the game is very unforgiving. <laughs> this guy's having a bad day. Right? All right, so he's got a skull on him, which is good. I think we need... Uh, we need oh, three shoot. of them. All right, hold on. i got to empty bags. So this is where that vicinity thing comes into play before you get a chest. Um, you basically just pick a house. Um, now, we can use this one by the forge, but it doesn't have a torch in it. Um, but I think the one over the here does. The town hall does. Town hall does? Okay, why don't we yes. use town hall then? Um, now, the only thing I... Actually, this is a question I had about the town hall was, like, can can stuff get in here? Um, like That's a night. great question, and I don't have an answer to that question. Okay. I mean, I don't mind setting up shop here. Um, the only reason I liked the other one is because it had a door. <laughs> so I was like, oh, sweet. I can close the door. Uh, but this apparently does provide the most protection from what I don't know. But, like, if you go to the journal, I don't know if you saw this, you probably did, Dane, but if you go to the journal and then check out the um, the houses, it actually tells you the durability of the... Yes. Of the different things. Now, what I didn't get, and again, just because I haven't run into this yet, was like the repair in X day thing. Like, I don't understand what that means. Um, but again, still figuring all this out, right? So. I believe there is some depreciation on the buildings. Oh, okay. Uh, so, oh, hey, I just found a longbow. Oh, awesome. We're going to need that to hunt deer because they We suck. are indeed. All right. Um, now, one thing I'm wondering, too, is if we can just use one spawn point or if we each have to individually build one. I think as soon as we have a spawn point build, build we that, can both link it? that we can both use it um, because you do, have to, you do have to click on it to activate it. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Um, all right. So do we want to call Town Hall home? Because I'll start yes. dumping crap in here. Um, all right. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, this is uh, <laughs> this is my idea of inventory for now. I basically just drop everything into the space until I need it. Um, which actually, I'll hold on to those wood logs because we're going to need a fire here in a minute. And speaking of which, we should probably eat or we will die. Yes. Um, do you have any? You have food on you, right? You're good. I do have a couple of pieces of food on me, and okay. um, I did uh, I did end up getting that deer. Oh, so, score. Awesome. Uh, because I have a fire over here, I can go over here, and when you hit K, yeah, it'll hold bring on. up a, a menu of uh, just some of the some of the shortcuts to some of the things within the journal that you can make. Mm -hmm. um, there's a weapons tab, armor tab, general items, and, and such tab. Yeah. Uh, and then there's also there's meat, and you uh, another important thing to keep in mind: you do have to repair your stuff. It does have durability. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, it does take durability damage, so... Yeah. Uh, P.S., I just dropped some an arrow for you that I had made. I'm actually going to make a bunch more than that. You have a lot Fantastic. Uh, right there. I just need to go get all the crap that I just dropped. <laughs> Wait a second. Um, I think I left some flint in here, too. Um, now, again, guys, you know, this game is in early access, so it's not, you know, it's not perfect yet as far as the visuals. And, and in all fairness, I'm not running it on the highest quality either. I, uh, I, I kind of sacrifice visuals for speed. Um, that's my my general tendency, and uh, which it, at some points in this game, yeah. that is absolutely necessary. Right. I agree, I totally agree. All right, so I'm gonna build you a bunch of arrows here. Sweet. How are you on food right now? Uh, right now, I've got a couple of pieces of meat and some apples, so I'm good for a little bit. Uh, okay. I just made five. I think I just made five arrows. I don't know where they went though. One, two, okay. five, five arrows. Did I just drop them or? They may have if if you have an open space oh, on there your they dash yeah they will oh. automatically land themselves there. There you go, buddy. Um, Great. So that's, that's what I can make you now. Uh, I'll make you more as we get them. You're gonna have to be the hunter for a while. Hey. Um,